using the trigonometry identity of sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 then we can take cos we can take side square x to this side that is we make cos square x the subject we have cos square x we then give us 1 minus sine square x so that we can write the equation given again in form of sine square x and we have 81 sine square x then plus 81 raised to power 1 minus sine square x equals to 30. So we have 81 raised to power sine square x plus 81 raised to power 1 minus sine square x equals to 30. Then from here, we can use a letter to represent sine x, sine square x. So let u be equals to sine square x. And we write the equation again in terms of u now. Then we have 81 raised to power u plus 81 raised to power 1 minus u then equals to 30. Then we can use the law of indices here. When we have a raised to power m minus n, we can write this in form of a raised to power m over a raised to power n. So we can use that in this area here. And this will give us 81 raised to power u plus 81 raised to power 1 is 81 then divided by 81 raised to power u which is equals to 30 so we are written this again in this form then from there we can clear the fraction by multiplying through multiplying both sides by 81 raised to power u so when we multiply this side by 81 raised to power u also multiply this over 81 raised to power u and from there this will give us 81 raised to power u times 81 raised to power u we are going to have 81 raised to power u then raised to power 2 so that this one will now be plus so 81 raised to power u we cancel each other when it multiplies this remain 81 here equals to 30 multiplied by 81 raised to power u and from there we can bring 30 multiplied by 81 raised to power u to this side to form something like a quadratic equation there and we have 81 raised to power u then or raised to power 2 will now be minus it is plus on this side minus 30 times 81 raised to power u then plus 81, we will be left with 0 on this side. And solving this, we have, we can use a letter to represent 81 raised to power u. So let a letter now, let v be equal to 81 raised to power u. And when we put, you know, v in place of 81 raised to power u, here, we have v squared minus 30v. Then plus 81 will be equal to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. So we can rewrite minus 30v as minus 27v, then minus 3v. So that we have v square minus 27v minus 3v plus 81, which is equal to 0. And grouping this one to 2, we have. In these two, what is common is v, so we take v out, v into bracket, v minus 27. Then what is common here is minus 3, minus 3 into bracket, v minus 27, which is equal to 0. And v minus 27 is common here. We have v minus 27 out. Then we have v minus 3, which is equal to 0. So two cases here, we have v minus 27 equals to 0 or we have v minus 3 equals to 0 and from there taking minus 27 here we have v will be equals to 27 and also taking minus 3 to this side we have v equals to 3 
and don't forget the value of v that we use here is 81 raised to power u so bringing that in now 81 raised to power u will be equal to 27 now we can write 81 and 27 to base 3 and we are going to have 3 raised to power 4 that will be 81 that's u for u equals to 3 raised to power 3 we give us 27 since the base are equal we can equate the power and here we are going to have 4u equals to 3 and also from this side we can bring that 81 raised to power u that will equal to 3 and we have 3 raised to power 4u equals to 3 and also the base are equal we have 3 raised to power 1 here so that will be 4u equals to 1 then we can get the value of u on both sides so on this side when we divide both sides by 4 we have u to be equals to 3 over 4 and this side as well u will be equals to 1 over 4 and uh, the value of u that we used is sine square x from here we say u is equals to sine square x then we can bring that down and say sine square x for this one equals to 3 over 4 and we can get the value of x by taking the square root on both sides so the square root on this side we have sine square x square root of that then equals to plus or minus on this side square root of 3 over 4 then this will give us square we cancel square root this will give us sine x equals to plus or minus root 3 over root 4 and root 4 is 2 then we get root 3 over 2 there for sine x that's plus or minus then on this side as well we can find the value of x from sine square x equals to 1 over 4 then taking the square root on both sides again we have square root of sine square x then equals to plus or minus square root of 1 over 4 then from there the square we also cancel square root we have sine x now to be equals to plus or minus 1 over 2 and uh, from what we have here using a special angle triangle right angle triangle 60 degree and 30 degree from that special triangle we can get the value of you know x there so that we have here will be 60 degree here is 30 degree and uh, here is 2 here is 1 here is root 3 so we call this the hypotenuse 2 and you know sine is opposite over hypotenuse and uh, when you look at 60 now Opposite of 60 is root 3 and the uh, hypotenuse is 2 so we can say sine 60 now we give us root 3 over 2 that means what the value of x here is telling us is that x equals to 60 and also from here when we pick sine 30 sine 30 degree Opposite of 30 is 1 and hypotenuse is 2. So we can say that sine 30 degree is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. So in this value of x, x equals to 30. But remember, we are finding the value of x from in between 0 degree and 360 degree. So from the quadrant, we have four quadrants. So we can say that the value of x for this particular value of x, the first one is 60 degree. Then when you go to the second quadrant, you subtract 60 degree from 180, and we get the second to be 120 degree. And top quadrant, you add 60 degree to 180, that will give us 240 degree. And in fourth quadrant, you subtract 60 degree from 360, 
now we get 300 so that is for this value of x now for the second value of x we have 30 degree first in the first quadrant then in the second quadrant we can subtract 30 from 180 that will be 150 degree and the third quadrant add 30 degree to 180 that will give us 210 degree and the last we have 330 degree and these are the value of x that we got from here thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now